Eaton House on Thursday night. This is the Circuit Rider House of Prayer. Okay, I'm going to take a few quick polls before we jump in. If this is your first time to a greenhouse prayer set, can you raise your hand really quick? Awesome. Some friends right here, welcome. If you're from like the broader Southern California, Orange County area, can you raise your hand really quick? It's all right if it's your first time and that's true. Awesome. I'm so glad you're with us. If you're here and you've been here this week with 100 for 100, which is international missionaries from all over the world, Cambodia, South Africa. We've got an amazing group of friends from all over the world, guys serving long-term in the mission field. If you're here with 100 for 100 this week, can you raise your hand really quick? Epic. And if you're an OG circuit rider, can you raise your hand? There we go. Amazing. Awesome. Well, we're gonna jump in in just a second, guys. But this has been a really unique week. I mentioned them about who they are, but we've had an incredible privilege here uh, as circuit riders to have friends from around the missions world be with us this week. Guys who've been serving decades um, in these locations from Cambodia to Nepal to South Africa, all over the world. These guys are legends, they're heroes, and we've been going after the Holy Spirit and a fresh touch from the Word of God. What does He want to say to us? How does He want to lead us? It's been an incredible week together as friends. So here in just a second, I'm going to kick us off with some Bible verses and prayers so if I could get your attention. We're going to launch into a time of praise and worship. We start every greenhouse set. What we do is we fix our eyes on Jesus because we're not here for ourselves. We come here because we want to bring Jesus a wholehearted offering of praise and worship. So we're going to do what we always do, which is come together with one heart and mind and say, Jesus, you're worthy. Jesus, you're beautiful. And we're going to worship him with all of our hearts. Second thing we're gonna do tonight, just so I can salt the trail a little bit, this is exciting because this is such a unique week and we've got such incredible friends here from around the world. We wanna pray for an uncommon move of the Spirit and a global mission sending movement tonight. So we're gonna pray for the sin specifically, all the location, we'll get all that stuff uh, a little bit later. But I'm gonna read a few Bible verses. I'm gonna pray. And then Lindy, Olivia, Brennan, and the team, they're going to take us into a time of worship. Does that sound good to everybody? Amazing. Who's ready to worship Jesus tonight? It's awesome. Same. So Psalm 96 says this. It says, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Tell of His salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. I thought tonight before we sing uh, the songs I've got prepared, I was wondering, could we lift a heartfelt, just our own song? What this first verse says is, sing to the Lord a new song. Can we lift a new song of gratitude for the presence of Jesus among us? for what he's done in your life this week. Lord, we sing a new song tonight. We say we love you. We say you're glorious. We say you're beautiful. We sing to you a new song tonight. Oh, we wanna bring you a great praise tonight, Jesus. So we come, God. We come wholeheartedly. We come wholeheartedly with a song of praise. I wanna welcome you. You can come up front, flood the sides, flood the front. Be free as we worship Jesus and I continue to sing that song to the Lord. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Yeah. 
of honor
your presence in this place tonight, Jesus. Oh, just begin to tell him thank you. Just with your own voice, say thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Thank you for the blood. We thank you, Jesus. We ask, Holy Spirit, that your presence would begin to manifest in this room tonight. Holy Spirit, I ask you would begin to move upon hearts tonight as we adore you. I feel tonight God wants to pour out a gift of faith. We're gonna intercede later, but as we continue to worship Holy Spirit, right now I ask that you begin to move in people's hearts throughout the room tonight in Jesus' name. We've come to meet with you tonight, Jesus. Holy is the Lord on high. 
lift your voice all across this room. Oh, let your worship rise beyond a song, beyond a lyric. Oh, be enthroned, be enthroned, be enthroned. King of glory, we cry. Call you king. 
Jesus. Tonight, I feel like we're getting caught up with the heavenly worship song where all eyes are on Jesus. In the book of Revelation chapter 4, when John gets caught up and gets this encounter, this vision of the throne in heaven, it says this in verse 2, it says, at once I was in the spirit and behold, a throne stood in heaven with one seated on the throne. There's only one seated on the throne and his name is Jesus. And around the throne were the elders and creatures with eyes all over them and angels and multitudes, but every eye was on one. And I feel there's a simplicity of our longing to bring Jesus, a, a heart cry, all of our hearts saying, Jesus, all of our eyes, just like heaven, are on you and you alone tonight. We don't care who's up here, or who's in the room. We just wanna bring Jesus what he's worthy of, which is all of us, all eyes on Jesus. In the end of the scene, I feel like this is the song we're caught up in. It says, the elders cast their crowns. This is verse 11, it says, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. Jesus, we say that there is no one like you. There is no one like you. You are the holy, holy, holy one. You are worthy of all honor. You are worthy of all power. You are worthy of all glory. And it's our delight, it's our joy to join heaven surrounding your throne and say, get all the praise, get all the worship, get all the glory. Maybe for 30 seconds, could you lift your own cry, your own prayer saying, Jesus, get all of my heart afresh tonight. Get all of my heart, get all of the worship I have to give. We give it all to you tonight with joy, Lord, we say. Have it all, Lord. Get your glory tonight, Jesus. Have the praise you're due. Have the attention that you're due.
from this place of exalting Jesus's unstoppable greatness. We're gonna move into a time of intercession tonight as we've surrounded the throne where there's one on the throne, the man who conquered death, the unstoppable Jesus that we're lifting high his name. We're gonna move into a time of faith-filled intercession that I believe is gonna move heaven to earth. It's in this atmosphere of faith-filled worship and praise. I believe we have an opportunity to grab a hold of God's heart and move heaven to earth in intercession. And tonight, we're gonna be praying for a global sending movement. We're gonna believe for a historic sending movement like the earth has never seen unto the completion of the Great Commission. But we're gonna ask one or two things really quick to get our hearts in the atmosphere of intercession. We don't wanna pray a robotic prayer. We wanna pray a faith-filled, but a love-saturated prayer where our hearts are connected with what our words are saying. So I'm gonna start by reading a few verses in Matthew 9, then we'll pray. Very familiar verses, but it's worth reading because the Bible is living and active. It'll stir our hearts tonight. Matthew 9, 35 says this, Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the kingdom and healing every disease and every affliction. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. That word compassion, what it means in the Greek is that he was moved in his innermost being. He was moved to his deepest places. Like his heart, it, it was, it was rent. It was, there was like a gut wrenching moving. Like I see the crowds and my heart is moved to its deepest place. Then he prayed. So we're gonna start with this. We're gonna ask God, whether we feel it or not, this is by faith. We're gonna ask God to grip our hearts with a compassion and love that cannot be stopped. Would God grip us with love and compassion for the lost more than he has at any point in our life. Whether you've been on the mission field for three days and you just joined the CRDTS or you've been out there for decades, we're gonna ask for a fresh wave of the unstoppable love of Christ to consume our hearts. So for the next minute, I wanna encourage you, lift your voice, cry out by faith, God, would you give me your heart for those who don't know you? Would you give me a love and a compassion? Father, I ask tonight, Jesus, Father, would you break my heart more than ever before, would you fill my heart with a compassion and a love and a longing for those who don't know you, God? Would you fill my heart with a supernatural compassion tonight, Lord? to tenderize our own hearts. Now what I want us to do is just big faith-filled prayer. We're gonna ask that the global body of Christ would have its eyes opened like never before to the needs of the broken. That there would be a widespread opening of our spiritual eyes and physical eyes to see the need. The need is so great, but would we have the capacity to carry the compassion of Christ to see it and not be overwhelmed, but be to consume with love unto action. So let's go one more minute praying for the body of Christ to have a season of eyes opening like never before. Jesus, we're asking tonight, God, would you open the eyes of the body of Christ like never before, God? We are asking, Holy Spirit, would you give us the eyes of Christ like never before? Would we see like you see, Jesus? Open our eyes, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name.
next thing I want us to pray, this is the, the third and last prayer before we focus in. We're gonna pray for the sin tonight in just a minute. But last opening prayer, this is a prayer that Paul was, he was asking the church, would you pray this? So there's power in this prayer. Paul's asking the church to pray this. We know there's effective power in this prayer. He said at the same time, pray also for us that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ, an account of which I'm in prison. And I felt in my spirit that we should pray for an open door of a window of missions from to every nation on earth, that there would be no closed nation on earth, that we would cry out, God, would you open wide a door would there be a window for missions like never before that no government, that no policy can stop? Would there open wide a door of mission sending from every nation? So let's pray this prayer from Paul one more time. Just one corporate prayer. Every single voice counts. Every heart matters tonight. Just engage one more time. 30 seconds. We're going to pray. Jesus, we're asking. We pray, Lord, would you open wide a door? Would you open a window for missions, God? That no nation would be too hard, no nation too closed, no village too far, no heart too hard. Jesus, open wide a door for the advancement of the gospel like never before, Lord. Open wide a door, Lord, in Jesus' name. awesome. Thank you, Lord. We just agree in faith. Okay, so next thing I want us to move into is we're going to be praying for the sin tonight, and we're going to start by praying for the four sin locations in America. So if you're on live stream or in here, you get a sneak peek. We haven't announced these, but I got permission. We can pray for these. So we're going to pray for these four locations tonight and agree um, on two things. We're going to agree for spiritual awakening in all four of these cities and, region, and regions. And number two, uh, we are going to cry out that it would catalyze a missions movement in these regions, that the send would be a Barnabas and a gift to the body of Christ in those regions. So here's the four places we're gonna pray for. It's in uh, Lancaster, Reading, Pennsylvania, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Boston, Massachusetts, and Nashville, Tennessee. We're gonna be crying out and praying for a spiritual awakening. Let's start with Pennsylvania. I know we got some friends from Lancaster here tonight. If one or two from Lancaster, we're gonna have some fun tonight. If one or two from Lancaster could come join me, we're just gonna have you join and pray some faith-filled prayers that we're gonna agree with. But here's the first one we're gonna cry out. In Pennsylvania, would there be widespread, would there be widespread spiritual awakening across the whole state of Pennsylvania? It's the first location. So we're asking, would it carry a breaker anointing? Would something break through in Pennsylvania that would be a word to the nation? God, we ask tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name, we're asking God for widespread spiritual awakening, Lord. Widespread spiritual awakening all across Pennsylvania, Lord. We ask, Holy Spirit, would you sweep through the cities of Lancaster, Harrisburg, Reading, God, Philadelphia, all across, Lord, in Jesus' name, God. We ask for widespread spiritual awakening, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. God, we declare there will be fire in the farmlands again in Lancaster and throughout Pennsylvania, God. We thank you that you're pouring out your spirit, that there's revival in the youth, Lord, and we break off the spirit of religion over Lancaster in the name of Jesus and declare relationship in the Father's heart and love in Lancaster in Jesus' name. Whether you're from Grand Rapids, Boston, Nashville, doesn't matter. If you want to pray a prayer of spiritual awakening or for God to catalyze a missions movement, we'll just form a, a quick rapid fire line right here. We're going to pray wild prayers of faith. It's so rare we have this many leaders from all around the world. So we're grabbing hold of agreement and intercession for God to move in these locations. I'll just say what city we're going to, we're going to go for Grand Rapids next. So let's get Grand Rapids right now. Jesus, we thank you for Grand Rapids. God, we ask for a massive outpouring. Lord, we begin to prepare people's hearts for a massive wave of salvations all across Grand Rapids and West Michigan in Jesus' name. Jesus, I thank you so much that every single person in Grand Rapids who comes
comes to the send will leave and every, every single person, every single family will not leave unaffected by the Great Commission. Every single family will be touched by the Great Commission, the Great Commandment of love in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I just pray that you would break off a spirit of religion in Grand Rapids in West Michigan, God. I pray that your revival would begin right now, even before the send, Lord. I pray that you would send leaders who would help catalyze this movement in Grand Rapids, and that there'd be no more worship of self, that there'd be no more worship of anything in the world, but that you would be seated on your rightful throne in Grand Rapids, Lord. May you receive all the glory and honor and power. Yes, Jesus, we just pray for Grand Rapids, God. We pray for revival and families in Grand Rapids. God. We pray for the mothers, the fathers, the sons, and the daughters, God, that they come to know you in fullness, God, in fire. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Father God, I pray specifically for the black community of Grand Rapids in Jesus' name. I pray, God, that we stop believing the lie that this is a white man's religion. God, we do have a part in the story. God, you wrote us in the story. So, God, I just thank you for revival in every single nation, every single tribe, every single tongue in Grand Rapids, Michigan, in Jesus' name. Keep going. We're going to pray for Boston now. And remember, this is, we're praying for, the, for a catalyst for spiritual awakening and that the sin to be used as a catalyst to a missions movement in these regions. So we're going to pray for Boston next. Here we go. Yes, God, I thank you so much for the people of Boston, Massachusetts, and that my generation is a generation that is on fire for you. My generation will be a generation known by the holiness because they seek the face of God. And I just say you're setting up encounters right now. People who don't even know the send is coming to Boston, Massachusetts. You're gonna start encounters in their living rooms right now. You're gonna start encounters in their bedrooms right now. So when they hear it, they pay every single cost to get there because you are worth the greatest cost, Jesus, and we give you our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Jesus, we thank you for open heavens over Boston right now. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you for going before us. God, we thank you for sending your heavenly encounters there right now in Jesus' name in Boston. Amen. Lord, I pray for the city of Boston, God. I pray for universities, Harvard, MIT, Boston College, Boston University, God. I pray for revival over the city of Boston, Jesus. I pray that you would send missionaries and catalysts, God, to bring spiritual awakening, God, spiritual revolution over the city of Boston, in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, we can see revival in Boston again. God, raise up a generation of George Whitfield. people go in Boston and Massachusetts that they cannot avoid the Holy Spirit, that they cannot avoid Jesus, that we would 
would move away from religion in Massachusetts and be focused on you, Lord, in Jesus' name I pray. We declare in the name of Jesus in full faith that the wells of revival in Boston, Massachusetts will be awakened by the Spirit of God. Lord, we declare now in the name of Jesus, God, that what's considered the hardest and driest parts of America will be awakened in Jesus' name. We declare in full faith for a salvation movement to spring across America in Jesus' name. going to keep going. We got one more city in the U.S. I, so I got to have some friends join me up here. I'll go first, but a few more rapid fire prayers. We're going to pray for Nashville now. I want to pray that specifically in Nashville, that a level of spiritual awakening and revival would break out, that the whole nation would look and see that God is on the move in America. So we want to pray for an unprecedented level of awakening and revival to break out in Nashville. So let's go for it. Jesus, you said that if the Son of Man is lifted up, you would draw all men to yourself. God, I wanna ask you in Nashville that you would lift up your Son, Jesus, and that thousands would be drawn to you, God, and America would look on and be amazed at what you are doing in this day, drawing men and women to yourself, in Jesus' name. We open wide the gates and we welcome you, King of Glory, to Nashville, Tennessee. Strike the match, pour out the oil, and set Nashville, Tennessee ablaze in Jesus' name. Jesus, we just ask that your church would be so ready, uh, ready to respond, ready to draw in the nations, ready to draw in uh, to the people ready to respond to the Great Commission. Jesus, what a great move come out from Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, reach the world, reach the far corners of the earth. Jesus, moving with your spirit, honoring your spirit. Joy, he goes 
and sells all that he has and buys that field. God, I just pray, Jesus, for young adults in Nashville, from the upper class families that are in college, God, I ask for a wave of revival that they would sell everything they have to buy that field, to find the treasure, and there would be a wave of a movement of missionaries to the nations that gave everything for your name, God. Yes, Father, we pray that Nashville would become a sending city, God. That thousands would launch from Nashville all over the earth in obedience and joy to you. We also ask God for a pure sound of worship to emerge from Nashville that would capture the nation in the glory of God. Yes, Jesus, I just pray for any way, Lord, that there are people there that are in under deconstruction or under a place of unbelief in their faith, God. I pray that you would bring them into a revelation of the gospel that tears down every idol that takes their truth and makes it firm foundation in you, Jesus. I pray for salvation to sweep through the streets of Nashville, of the saved being revived and the lost being saved, Jesus. We agree and partner, Lord, to your desire that your word, Lord, will run swiftly over Nashville and that everyone will see your glory in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus, we are praying for revival in Nashville, that the spirit of suicide would be broken, that people would come to the sin with testimony after testimony after testimony, that they would worship and they would say, this is what Jesus has done and this is what he's doing in our city. Yes, Lord, we do. We ask God for an eruption in Nashville, God. We ask for a breakthrough sound of worship and revival, God. In Jesus' name, we say the greatest days for your destiny over Nashville are ahead of it, God. And we ask for the sin to be a catalyst and a servant of what you want to do in Jesus' name. Sing this with me. Tear down the idols. We want revival. Clean hands and pure hearts. We be center and come be the center high priest high priest forever and you tore the veil so we can come through and tear down the idols we want revival clean hands and pure hearts we behold you
In this atmosphere, we're gonna go another round. We're gonna turn our focus to other nations where the sin is happening. We're gonna start, we're gonna go into a time of intercession first for Norway. There was the sin Norway this last year and the reports haven't stopped coming in of the way God is moving in that nation. And so we're gonna pray. There's three follow-up gatherings, May 13th, May 27th and June. 10th in three different cities around Norway where they're expecting thousands to gather in each city, primarily young people, to get lit on fire with awakening and revival and a missions movement out of Norway to touch nations of the earth. So um, I liked rapid fire. I was going to do groups of two or three, but I think rapid fire is more fun. So we're going to do rapid fire down here, another round. We're going to pray for Norway, then South Africa, and then we're going to pray for New Zealand. But we're starting with Norway. So here's the points. First thing we wanna pray for is we're gonna ask for the wave of hunger for Jesus and the desire to serve the Great Commission would only grow. The report is it's like a movement is breaking out. We're just asking for that wave of hunger and that desire for missions would only grow. So I need more people to join me to pray. I can't, I can't pray all the prayers. So we'll do a line right here, 10, 15 second rapid fire prayers for Norway. So that, we're gonna pray for an increased wave of salvation to suit the nation and favor for missions bases within Norway. So one of those three things, here we go. We're gonna start with any one of those three who are praying for Norway. 
Father, we, uh, we, we pray for Norway. We have just been in my own language. Father, we pray for this nation here that will be with us and send us out to all the lands. Father, we pray for Oslo, we pray for Stavanger, we pray for Kristiansand, we pray for that there will be a storm, Father, with missionaries from these fantastic cities. We pray that you will visit us with your hand. We pray that you will continue to move out from this land. Father, we pray that you will continue to move out from this land. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Father, I pray in the same spirit that drove Hans Nielsen Hauge in the 1800s to revive Norway. Would you unleash it in the youth of Norway once again? Would you awaken the youth of Norway in Jesus' name? Yes, God, we ask for a missions movement to sweep Norway into Europe. Jesus, we ask that you would catalyze young hearts, God. Send them with action into Europe, Jesus, to reach the lost. We thank you that you would fill them with courage, God. We thank you would unite the church in Norway, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus, we pray that you would wake us up. Herre, vil du vekke oss opp, Herre Jesus, vi trenger deg. Jesus, vi ber deg om at du må få nye landet vårt, Herre Jesus, vi ber deg om at du skal kalle misjonærer til å reise ut og nå ut til folkeslag. Vil du vekke oss opp, vil du reise oss opp igjen, Herre Jesus? Jesus, we just want to say thank you for everything that you're doing in Norway. And God, we want to ask you for a new wave of mission sending in this day. That Norway would be one of the greatest mission sending nations on the earth. In Jesus' name. King Jesus, we pray that you, that you would take your place as King of Norway. That you would be seated on the throne high above Norway. That in the hearts of young men and women all across Norway, you would be exalted on your throne. And that you would then send out those who are in your kingdom among the nations to take the kingdom of Jesus all across the world. Amen. rapid-fire prayer. I need you to lean in with me. And if you don't come to the rapid-fire uh, line, I want to encourage you that your yes in agreement really matters. Our agreement in prayer, it's what launches in my mind and the Spirit. It's like heat-seeking missiles that destroy the kingdom of darkness and activate the kingdom of God. So verbalize your yes, your agreement with those who are up here praying. We're going to go the second round. We're going to pray for South Africa. If you want to come join and pray for South Africa, here's the two points felt primarily to hit that the sound of revival would rally a nation. They would rally to Jesus in the sound of revival. And the second thing was that there would be a unified shout for Jesus that would reverberate across the entire continent of Africa, breaking every dividing wall of hostility in the church, releasing uncommon power in Pentecost. So if that was too much, somebody probably got a little bit. We're gonna pray and then we'll go for it. Father, we ask you to step down into every prayer meeting in South Africa. We ask you for an Andrew Murray style prayer meeting revival that burst forth in a nation as a preparation for descent that will generate, Father, into a mission movement all over Africa in Jesus' name. Yes, Father, we just pray for South Africa, Lord. Lord, we plead, God, that this would be a land that is unified under your name. Father, we, we ask, we beg that you would raise up workers and laborers in South Africa that would, would reach South Africa and from there to the nations. Yes. 
Father, we thank you for leaders that are being raised in South Africa, God. We pray for bold leaders that can raise, that can raise the young people that are being set on fire in Jesus' name. Jesus, we just declare that some of the most wild and bold and apostolic leaders are gonna come out of the continent of Africa. Lord, revival unto reformation. Lord, build that continent on the foundation of the Bible. Raise up leaders who can teach it and put it at the foundation of society. Jesus, in your authority and your power, we break the chains of systemic injustice and racism in South Africa, Jesus. We ask you to make it new, Jesus. Unify your church, Father. Would a wave of revival come as white and black believers are praying together, Jesus, and being sent out in South Africa, Jesus. Jesus, we pray that my country would see you as King, Lord, and that we would usher in your presence again, Lord. I declare in Jesus' name that Cape to Cairo will happen and it will start in South Africa. Jesus, we say that you're worthy of South Africa. Holy Spirit, would you go before us in the sand and begin softening hearts of unbelievers? And would an unrelenting yes arise from South Africans in Jesus' name? Yes, Lord, we just pray for revival in South Africa, Lord, that your love covers a multitude of sins, Lord, so will you just come in a wave of revival in South Africa, Lord, that youth will start rising up for the call on their lives, Lord, that they will start being sent out for the gospel, Lord, that they will respond to the gospel, Lord, that chains will break off of them, Lord, that generational curses will break off of them, Jesus. Father, I pray right now for my generation in South Africa, Lord. I pray right now in Jesus' name, Lord, that a revival would hit, a wave would come, Lord. And I pray right now, Lord, you will, you will pull them in, pull them in, Lord. Give them dreams, give them whatever, Lord. But I pray for a wave just to crash over Gen Z in South Africa, Holy Spirit. You guys are amazing. Can we lean in on one more nation tonight? Let's lean in in faith on one more nation. We're gonna pray for New Zealand and the Send Auckland tonight. So we're gonna pray that from the ends of the earth that God would raise up radical missionaries. That from the corners of the earth, God would raise up radical missionaries in New Zealand and Australia. We're gonna pray for New Zealand to awaken as a nation to its inheritance as a sending nation. And that revival would spring up in cities and villages and towns all over the nation. Third thing I felt, if it hits your spirit, is the long-lasting revival movements to birth and continue far beyond the sin Auckland. We want long-lasting revival movements to birth. So let's rumble. Last nation, we got one more thing we're gonna do tonight. So 
So, Father, we, we, history tells us that when Abel Tasman saw New Zealand for the first time, he declared, these are the great south lands of the Holy Spirit. And, Father, we just say yes to that. And we ask you for a Holy Spirit revival, Father. In, in New Zealand, Father, that will transform the nation and put a heart in them that is longing for you and longing to take your word to the nations in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, as I prayed for New Zealand and Australia weeks ago. He said, those are my people, and I want them back. They are mine. And I'm tired of seeing people say that this country is absolutely Christianized because they are in need of the gospel. So I thank you, Lord, that you will rise leaders up within their own people, not to just start movements, Lord, but to start generations of cycles in which they praise the Lord. They receive the Lord as Savior, and their children's children are affected in Jesus' name. Jesus, I ask for my nation right now that you would start a youth movement in Aotearoa, New Zealand, that you would move those that are in despair, those that have been riddled with suicidal thoughts, that break in tonight in Jesus' name, break in with your power, the hope of their calling, that they would know that they are called to the nations, they are called to be pioneers, and they are going to bring a prophetic message that is going to change the world in Jesus' name. Yes, Jesus, we remind you of Smith Wigglesworth's 1922 word that in about a hundred years of movement for eclipsing, what was poured out then would be poured out. God, we say, do it, Lord. It's been a hundred years, Jesus. We are asking for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit and fire on Aotearoa, New Zealand. God, we're asking that you would ignite the church of New Zealand with a passion for souls. God, that you would launch them from the ends of the earth to the unreached to finish the task. In Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, I just ask that you would come, that you would remind New Zealanders again that God is alive, that He's active, that God is not dead in New Zealand. He is real. Jesus is real and He's alive and He's moving in this nation. He is calling people to Him again. He's calling people to serve Him again. So God, I'm asking that you would raise up faith in New Zealanders again. God, I pray that those that have been interceding for this nation, God, that you would give them fresh faith to believe that it's just around the Revival is just around the corner in New Zealand. It's not too late. You are moving in that nation. So come, Holy Spirit, would you rule over Aotearoa, God? I pray that you would come, that you would move in our nation again. In Jesus' name. Yeah, Lord, I thank you for the nation of New Zealand. Lord, I thank you that the breath of God would land over New Zealand and Australia. God, I thank you for the Maori people that you are raising up, that you are sending them out. We come in agreement that the youth of New Zealand would be sent out as missionaries, God. That the great South Land would go into all the nations. Lord, we just thank you, God, for the sweet month of the Holy Spirit over New Zealand and Australia, God. And we say, why do we tapu, a kuhumai into New Zealand, Lord, a release of the Spirit. Lord, we just say, which just means, Holy Spirit, you are welcome, Lord. We just want that to resound from the entire nation, Lord. Up in Auckland, Wairua Tapu, Harimai, Harimai, you are welcome, Lord. A renewing of your spirit. Just like when Samuel Marsden first touched down, Lord, there was a renewing of your spirit within the native Maori people. We ask for that again to take place again within families, within that culture, Lord. A renewing of your spirit. Wairua Tapu, Harimai.
We're gonna do one more thing, and Lindy and the team can keep singing this um, over you guys. But I wanted for those that have come in for just this week for this hundred for hundred gatherings, what we're calling it. So this is uh, YWAM leaders, Iris leaders. It's mission bases from all around the world, Paraguay, Norway. Is what I, it's just all over the world are here just for this week, uniting together around Jesus's desire to reach this next generation and fulfill the Great Commission. So if you come in as a leader for that, here's what I, how I want us to do before we have one more moment of high praise while they sing the song is, if you're here, I want you to lift your hand and I want circuit riders and those from the community to gather around those that have come in for this week. And I want us to pray for a deep refreshment from the Holy Spirit that God would fill up every man and woman with a fresh strength, a fresh vigor, a fresh energy to keep saying yes to the assignments that God has given each one of these. They've come, they've laid down this week. It's been costly. It's been full on. It's taken a lot of energy. So we're praying for a fresh wave of strength. Keep your hand up until somebody's around you. I know it might be half the room. We wanna pray for every one of these guys. So if you're a circuit rider, local community, we just wanna say, Lord Jesus, would you refresh those that have come here this week? We ask for a deep refreshment. Would you strengthen the inner man? Would you strengthen the inner woman? Would you strengthen those that have given their yes, God, that have laid down their lives, Jesus, from other parts of America, from all over the earth, God? We ask Holy Spirit right now for a wave of refreshing to wash over Jesus, a wave of refreshing, God. We pray that Paraguay's days, the best ones are ahead of it, God. We pray, Holy Spirit, for Norway, deep refreshment, more fire, God. We pray for Brazil, God. We say increase, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray for Kona, God. We say supernatural waves of young people coming and getting trained for the nations. Lord, we ask deep refreshment, deep refreshment, deep refreshment, Holy Spirit. Grace for another run, Lord. Grace for the next assignment. Grace to keep plowing. Grace to believe. Grace to see with eyes of heaven. Grace to believe for unreached nations to be reached. Grace, God. Grace, Lord, pour it out tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name. And Father, we ask God, would you pour out a supernatural faith on every leader to believe that the greatest days of harvest are ahead, that the greatest days of sending are ahead. We ask God, would you catch Nepal up in a salvation movement, God? Would you catch Cambodia up in a youth revival like we've never seen before, God? We ask Holy Spirit, deep refreshment over these leaders, God. Pour out faith, pour out refreshment in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we do. We just thank you, God. We thank you for tonight, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for meeting us with your spirit. We thank you for pouring out this week, Lord. We thank you for every prayer of intercession, God. We seal up tonight by the blood of Jesus, and we give you glory for meeting us with your tangible presence in Jesus' mighty name. Do you guys want to sing one more chorus of just praise and thanksgiving to Jesus? Just a chorus. 
We're gonna end in two minutes, but you guys wanna sing one more time to Jesus before we end? I don't know, I kinda, we'll do one more quick chorus, one more minute to thank Jesus and give him glory for tonight, and then we'll be done. Yes, Jesus. We glorify your name tonight. Love your name, Jesus. we pray tonight with the beautiful name of Jesus go out across the earth like never before would you get the glory for tonight the fame tonight we love you we love you we love you amen amen it's awesome thanks for pressing in like wild and intercession tonight uh, it's been so fun for those from the community this is a reminder that greenhouse sets are 8 to 10 a.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday and then every Thursday night 6 30 to 8 30 we also have our Monday night open to the community gatherings at 6 p.m. on Monday nights. Um, if you're in the CRX school, we love you. Um, this is a quick, uh, I have a quick ask though. We have to clear out of the room kind of quickly um, if you're not a circuit rider because we have to clear out all the chairs. And if you are a circuit rider staff or student, we're gonna do one more round. We're gonna reset up the tables and chairs like we had them earlier today. So if you are a circuit rider staff or student, if you could help me reset up the tables or the chairs. If you're not, thank you for coming and contending tonight. Have a great night, get some rest, and we'll see you Monday, tomorrow.